As AI is taking the world by storm, every database provider is making their database product generative AI enabled. Same is the case with MongoDB, which is one of the top document based databases out there. MongoDB now enables you to do vector search within the MongoDB. Now, vector search simply means that you can do semantic search and you can use it in the retrieval augmented generation with the help of your LLMs, which primarily provides external or extra context to your prompt, which you send to the LLMs. So for example, if you have a lot of documents which are stored within your MongoDB and you want to provide extra context to your large language models, you can simply convert those documents to vectors or numerical embeddings. And then when you're prompting the LLM, you can simply use those embeddings. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use MongoDB as a vector store. In order to get started, all you need to do is to just go to this MongoDB's website, click on try free and sign up with your Google account or any other email account for a free account. Once you log in there, the first step you need to do is to create a free cluster. The good thing about MongoDB is that they provide this MongoDB Atlas, which is a product where you can play around for free in a shared environment. Now, in order to play around, all you need to do is to just click on when you go to the cluster, click on, let me actually take you there. So when you go to the clusters, just on the right hand side, click on create and then click on shared. I already have it, but I can show you how to create it. Just keep all the default as is. I'm using AWS as a provider. And then my region is AP Southeast 2, which is a Sydney region, as this is where I'm based. Just keep everything on default and then click on create cluster. When you click on create cluster, then you will be presented with this screen. Let me show you. So this is a cluster which I already created. My cluster's name is test cluster. That is all I have done. And if you can't see it, let me make it slightly bigger. There you go. So this is my test cluster. Now, this is all you need to do is to, uh, to create a free cluster. Now I'll be showing you how you can create a vector store within this MongoDB test cluster. The only thing which you need now from this test cluster is its URI or uniform resource indicator. So for that, all you need to do is to click on this connect button, then click on drivers, select Python 3.12, scroll down, and this is your URI. And this is a password which you need to provide when you create the cluster. You should have it handy. I already have it. Just click here on the copy button or copy it from here. And this is all you need from this console. Now, once that's done, let's go to Google Colab or if you want to access it locally from your Linux or Windows instance, you can do that too. But I'll be using my free Google Colab for this purpose. Here, first thing, let's set the runtime. So go to runtime, change runtime type and T4 GPU just for a free GPU here. Let's install first some of the prerequisites. So these are a few of the prerequisites I'm installing, which includes pandas, PyMongo, Sentence Transformers, and few other things. PyMongo is a Python library for interacting with MongoDB that enables functionalities to connect to a cluster and query data stored in the collections and documents. And pandas is for the data structures for efficient data uh, processing. And then we have the usual transformers and sentence transformers for embeddings and the uh, pre-trained models. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so these are all done. Now let's source the data set which we will be uh, using as a rag. Now, this is a data set which I just got from this hugging face. This is a smallish version of this embedded movies from the Atlas Mongo. And this is a very, very tiny data set just to make things easier, just 19 MB and around 1400 records or rows. And it also 
has cleaned up the data a bit which is uh, very good for our purpose so i'm just going to load it and here in the last line i'm just converting this data set to the data pandas data frames shouldn't take too long as you can see the data is very very um, small this is already done beautiful okay in the next one we are just going to clean this data so what we are doing it we are just uh, deleting any uh, column where uh, or row where plot is empty and also we are just removing this plot embedding because we will generate our own embeddings awesome so you can see that it has printed some of the statistics now as our data set is ready now let let's generate some of the embeddings out of this data set now this uh, chunk of code it is simply importing the sentence transformers and then it is loading this uh, embedding model with the sentence transformer and then we are instantiating it and this function it is taking a text string as an input and returns a list of loads representing the embedding and the function first check if the input text is not empty here and if it is not if it is empty it returns an empty list otherwise it generates an embedding using the loaded model and then it is simply generating the embedding by applying the get embedding function here as simple as that so let me quickly run it so you can see that here it is being uh, embeddings are being generated with it and it's a small data set so that is why it is working like a charm on the free gpu so let's wait for it to finish so you can see that up till now we haven't used any mongodb all we have done is we have obtained our data set we have created the embeddings so that is done and now let's specify the uri which we got from that mongodb atlas and store it as a secret in this google colab on the left hand side click on this key icon and then from here you can just add a new secret click on add new secret i'm going to call it mongo and underscore uri and here i'm just going to maybe i'll okay so i'm just going to paste my whole uri here and now let's instantiate our mongodb here so all you need to do is to use this python code and you can obtain it from uh, mongodb's documentation too this is where i got it from all we are doing it we are importing that pymongo client we are using user data to get our uri and then this is a function we have defined so if you look at this function it's very very simple we are just creating the mongodb client by using that uri and then we are using uh, that user data the secret which we defined and from there we are just getting it so maybe i'll just convert it to small case because that is what i have done mongo underscore uri so that is the user secret i have defined and then i'm just instantiating that client and this is where i am creating the mongodb client and defining the collection so let me run it let's okay so it doesn't have secret access okay i'll just grant access there you go so as soon as i clicked on that grant access everything is hunky dory now okay then the connection to mongodb was successful that is awesome and now just to keep everything clean let's also make sure that there is nothing in the collection initially yep that's done awesome now up till this point our data set is ready data set has been converted to embeddings our mongodb cluster is ready and we have also initialized the database and collection now as a final step what we need to do we need to go to again mongodb user interface or if if you are using cli if you are comfortable with that and we need to create an atlas vector search index now atlas search index is a data structure that categorizes data in an easily searchable format it is a mapping between terms and the documents that contain those terms atlas search index 
enable faster retrieval of documents using certain identifiers. So you must configure an Atlas search index to query data in your Atlas cluster using Atlas search. Now let's get started. Let's go to our Atlas UI. So this is our de database deployment page. Now this is I'm already in the free cluster. Now this is my cluster name where I am and this is where we need to search and create our vector search index. So click on your test cluster and then click on this Atlas search and here we need to create the uh, our vector index search. Now and you might have to reload this page because we created the database collection from Colab. So just when you reload this page, the screen create search index one will appear. Just click here and then from here simply click on this uh, Atlas Vector Search JSON editor. Click next and then just keep the name vector index. That is fine. Replace it with this because that is what we want to do with our collection here the this 1024 value of the num dimension field corresponds to the dimension of the vector generated by the uh, GTE large embedding model which we used if you use any other model like GTE base GTE small model then this num dimension value will change for example for GTE small it will be 384 rest is we are using embedding and this is our algorithm for a semantic search cosine and we are using it for the vector search and you can keep this as is and then just keep uh, one important thing is that keep the name as uh, vector index because that is what we are going to use and in the left hand side box make sure that you have expanded this movies and click it clicked on this movie collection too this is a collection which we created and then you can click on next here. Once you click on next, you'll be presented with this review screen. And from here, just click on create search index. And then let's uh, wait for it to finish. And you can see that for now it is showing the status has not started. So you would need to wait some time because it's a free. Sometime it takes a long time too so just uh, you need to be patient with it okay so it is done now it took me around 10 minutes so that it could become active this um, vector index search now let's go back to the colab and from here in order to put your embeddings into this index all you need to do is to run this command where i'm checking these documents and then all i'm doing it i'm inserting into this document that is all we need to do and the data ingestion is complete. So all of the embeddings are now in our vector store in the MongoDB. So this is it guys. This is how you can use this MongoDB and its new feature of this vector index search, which enables you to use MongoDB as uh, a vector store. And then you can build a lot of AI applications on it. You can integrate any LLM on top of it, whether it's an open source, open AI, and then if you go to MongoDB's website, they have various documents explaining how you can use it with OpenAI, with open source uh, models like uh, Llama, Mistral, Gemma, you just name it. But the main thing is that if you get this data set right, your vector set right, your collection and all this MongoDB side of things, you're all set to, good to go. And on top of it, you can use anything. As I said, you can use your own Python code, you can use Llama index, you can use Langchain, whatever you like. And I have various videos where I describe it in great detail. That's it. I will drop the link to this MongoDB's website here. If you are uh, have any questions, let me know. Happy to help out. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.